Good morning, dear friends. This is a brand new day. And I wish you all a great day by the grace of God as you live and glorify your God. Today, I would like to continue the meditation we started yesterday about Moses. And our title is God the Great Stirrer and how Moses was stirred up three times in his life. The first time he was stirred up was when he was only three months old. And we have considered the circumstances. And the second time he was stirred up was when he was 40 years old, when he had to run away from Egypt to escape Pharaoh's fury and escape death. And the third time was when he was 80 years old, when God manifested himself to Moses and called him and appointed him and sent him back to Egypt to bring the people of Israel from the bondage as the deliverer of his own people. So then in the process, we also have seen the examples of Peter uh, and about uh, how God stirred him up. We uh, just for uh, for for uh, for example and uh, uh, two or three experiences he had. And so from all these things we learn one thing: when Jesus stirs up, and how. Sometimes a sudden unexpected events, troubles, problems, suddenly our whole world is turned upside down. And life itself has changed for the rest of our days. And all these incidences, therefore, can be uh, compared to an eagle, a uh, mother eagle, stirring up his, her nest to let his uh, small eaglets to get out of their comfort zone and get out into the air. Now let's go back to the eagles. Twelve months after stirring of the nest, you see the purpose of staring up. You will see two young eagles will be flying high above the air, above the mountains, sweeping into the valleys. They are now masters of the air. A broken nest and a plunge in faith have given to the eagles their destiny. Now they are free, out of the nest, up in the air, taking care of their own lives. Hallelujah! And that's what is going to be the result when God stirs up our nest. Our nest is like a, our comfort zone. When we face no problem, oh, the mother will bring food. All we have to do is to open the mouth and receive the food and swallow it. It's a wonderful life. And many Christians are like that. We don't like to get out of our comfort zone. We don't like to be stirred up. And we don't like to meet our destiny. And uh, as long as you stay inside the nest, the only thing that you can think of is that small world of the nest beyond that you have no vision 
But that is not God's plan for you. God's plan for you is to become a useful and adventurous and great achievers. He wants you and me to be history makers, not merely history readers. Anyone can read history, but only a few make history. What do you want to be? You want to be a history maker or just a history reader? I pray that you will have the vision large enough in the days to come. As you get out of your small nest and you begin to see the world and its challenges and by willing to face your challenges of flying, there are dangers to face, there are, there are hindrances to, to face, but in spite of all that, you grow in your stature as a history maker and you are willing to face challenges and accept them and face them. This is the kind of life Jesus wants us to live. Hallelujah! And I pray that you will learn this lesson. And as a result, as you go along, as years pass by, yes, you can be thankful to God for a broken nest. And thankful to God for that adventurous kind of faith that you are able to exercise. The tragedy of so many lives, they are so satisfied and stationary, there is no growth anymore no new visions, no attempt to, uh, to, to, to new ventures, no enlargement. Life is stagnated and life becomes so monotonous and boring. There is nothing others can learn from your life. But I want to tell you, God may stir and disturb us. Because it is necessary to make you the kind of a man that God envisioned for you. And so I pray that that stirring up will come faster than we would like to so that you can begin to grow and face life's challenges. Always God wants to lead us forward to be the best. And if you think of these characters like Moses, like Peter, and like the Apostle Paul, Until we too will hear the Lord saying, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Always remember, my friends, God has not called you to be stagnated and become a barren tree bearing no fruit and uh, was too weak to face any challenges. And I pray that that will not be your life. God has a very specific plan and a great purpose for your life. Will you open up and allow God to do what He knows best? For you. Challenges are very difficult to face at times, but you are called 
to a challenging life. Courageous life. It takes courage. And dear friends, you combine this yesterday's and today's devotion together. And may the Holy Spirit help you to realize that there is a great life ahead of you. If you are willing to be stirred up, and I pray that God will stir you up and bring you out of your nest and throw you up in the air so that you are forced to fly. And don't worry if the, the, the mother eagle sees that uh, her little one is uh, falling and she will fall on the rock and destroy it. No, she wouldn't allow that thing to happen. And our God is more caring than an eagle mother. He is there by your side. He will see that you are not destroyed. And remember the great saints of God, like Joseph, like Daniel, like Esther and Ruth, and all these Bible characters who made history, they all plunged into the air from their nest. Thank you, Lord Jesus for your plans and purpose for our lives. And I thank you that when you stir us up, you also know our limitations and the dangers we face, but you will be by our side until we are completely strengthened to fly by ourselves. Thank you, Lord, for your purposes. May your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, my friends. And may the Lord's grace be upon you.